Hi folks, today is December 7th, and as you should know, and if you don't, your history teachers <coughs> should be shocked, this is Pearl Harbor Day, 2,403 people at Pearl Harbor died when 353 Japanese planes came over in two waves, starting just before 8 a.m. and attacking Pearl Harbor near Honolulu, uh, Hawaii, over at, you know, and they destroyed or damaged all eight battleships. They they screwed up. They didn't get a chance to uh, get our carriers, which might be the difference in the entire war. <coughs> but that is not what we're here to talk about. It is something you should remember. It's much more important than 9-11, which is a bunch of wacko tell heads with yeah, raise your knife, using a 747 to fly into a building. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of dead there. But those folks couldn't shoot back. Our folks could have had they been warned properly. So... That's neither here nor there. We're not in a number game. Still cough. Oh, sorry. Still got a lot of chest congestion. But lots better. Lots better. I got home today and I slept a long time. And every time I woke up, I tried to think of how I was going to do this video and talk. We'll get to that right after the intro. Be right back. Hi folks. Tim here just cutting in. We're going to uh, just tell you about two buddy Dot com. If you are a creator on YouTube, you should be using this. Uh, the link it will be on the screen here, but it will also be in the description below. As you can see, the prices are, those are for the advanced licenses. You could try this for free. Um, they made me a really good offer after I tried it for about a week. Uh, I'm paying $4.50 a month offer I could not refuse so check that link again on the screen yeah uh, tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech or check the description below when you're done watching the video and that's all I have let's get right back to the video right now so we're back and uh, because of this bombing it did two things. One, it just pissed America off that we came together as a single society. Yeah, none of us bickering like we have nowadays. We weren't worried about who is to, who is to blame for Pearl Harbor. Who cares? We just need to go kick some Japanese ass. And... Uh, at the same time, obviously, it was because they were an access nation. We're going to get to go kick some German ass. Now, the Germans suffered a lot. do this and I don't care <laughs> it's a problem 
you know, you put your foot in it, you step in it. I gotta dump my nose here. Ah, yeah, I can't wait until I don't hurt her in the nose. <coughs> <coughs> But, hopefully, the point of this video will get to you. Technology suddenly ramped up. The greatest industrial country on earth that Everyone on, oh, it's a bunch of cowboys and immigrants and weirdos over there. Really. Yeah, except for the fact we all spoke English. Kind of an important thing. And Henry Ford turned the River Rouge plant into the biggest tank factory inside of Less than a year. Sherman tanks are coming out of there. We built more airplanes, more ships, more extraneous technology than you can believe during that war. And we developed better radar. Well, if you got better radar, you got to have better CRTs, displays, kitties, cathode ray tubes. Sorry, I heard now. Oh, is that LCD or IPS or No. It's not that deep. And at least... But you at least have radar. We even built planes with radar in them. What? Yeah. No one ever thought of this before. We built bombers. We built 15,000 B 24 Liberators. We built thousands of P 51s, P 47s. And P-38 Lightnings, fighters, all very fast, very efficient, long range, long range. P-51s could take off and go all the way to Berlin with the bombers and come back. That's like a nine hour round trip even more and we put big guns in <sighs> great radios <coughs> and we learned new ways to make it Cheap, fast, and efficient. And all that has led us today to better displays. Ask your great great grandparents in most cases for your kids out there. But going from you know, listening to the radio to turn on the TV. Oh, that was so cool. For the most part, during the war, people went to a movie on a Friday or Saturday night. <coughs> and you could see the movie tone news, newsreels. That was how they got their news, or out of the newspaper when the kid held up a paper and said, Jeff surrender, or German surrender, whatever. Uh, the 
the world changed just before ADM on a little time, December 7th, 1941. But also got my dad's ass out of Kentucky, and I got to grow up in a normal in a normal state with yeah, large groups of people who didn't know each other and had more to do than sit around and chit chat chit chat chit chat about who's married to who and who's related to, yeah, okay, we're not going there. But I just thought I'd bring this up. But you should still remember 2,403 dead at Pearl Harbor is the official number. Mostly Navy guys. And as Navy guys, yeah, it's an embarrassment. We got our asses whooped. Totally. We got caught with our pants down. We got caught sleeping on a job. Ain't never gonna happen again. Mark my words. But all this cool new tech was a result of we went from riding horses to driving race cars as far as technology went. It just <laughs> ramped everything up. No oh, one had ever even thought about a <coughs> <coughs> supercharger, turbocharger, higher RPM, smaller valves, more valves. Dual cams, all these things. The result of World War II. And us getting in it because people over there were still, you know, not quite up to our industrial might. They had no idea. Although the German Minister of Industry, Albert Speer, told Hitler, you don't want to get America involved. Oh, we'll kick their butt. He said, no, you won't. They got more factories and more ability. A whole bunch of smart people. And that's the Japanese and Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The ones that can still see who lived through the <coughs> two bombings. Yeah, unless they have to be looking up at that uh, brilliant flash and then be like, Well, I saw a bright light. That's the last thing I've ever seen. <laughs> or the ones to see. Fell. Yeah, whatever. We went from no nuclear weapons to having nukes inside of a couple of years. What other country could do that? No other country. Only America. Anything we set our minds to, we can do. So quit listening to the left-wingers and the wackos, the naysayers. We're still the greatest country on earth. That's all I got for today so far. We'll get to those uh, uh, all out your D10s later today. They weren't as important as Pearl Harbor Day. Don't forget.
2,403 dead. Pearl Harbor. Just before 80. Thanks for watching.